All right, here we go, part eight, our last part. The conclusion to our Dragonborn walkthrough. Here we are. A little word wall right there. This is where we learn uh, that uh, well, part of that word of power that uh, I see a Mirak using, where he grows like horns and becomes all, you know, covered in glowing aura type deal. Pretty cool looking. Well, and when you die, it just sends you back out of the book. You don't actually. Die except for when you're fighting me, right? All right, attempt two. Just read the book again, and I'm back where I left off. Now it's time to tame our first dragon. Give him a quick shout. And then he quickly killed me before, but I... Luckily I tamed him, so... Send him back outside. Quickly read the book again. And... My loyal dragon friend is waiting for me. Jump on, and away we go. Now there's like three pedestals of these enemies to kill, but uh, I discovered if you hit A to land while riding the dragon, it actually, he just sends you up to where Mirak is and you get to avoid all these little fights. I was pretty excited to go fight Mirak, so I ignored the flying the dragon for a little bit. You can actually cast mag- you can't use your sword or your bow while in the back of the dragon, but you can cast magic and shout. You can use your dragon shouts. I'm not a, I don't- I like, you know, the bow and arrows, so I'll just yell at things on top of my dragon. Yeah, see if you- you tap A, he heads straight to the top of the Spire without even fighting anything. If you're, you know, really impatient to go beat the DLC, that'd probably be the best way. Now, I tried, uh, earlier I tried using the dragon, staying on the dragon and killing Mirak, but he's got a couple dragons flying around and they quickly kill you. Very quickly. So it's not worth it. Mark's well, pretty powerful. This fight is like uh, into four parts, I want to say. The first couple times you fight him, you got uh, your dragon running around attacking him, you know, to help you out, and then uh. And then, huh, what happens is he dies and he absorbs one of his dragons flying in there. He's got like three of them, I think. He absorbs their soul, comes back to the, he's kind of like a specter, like a ghost almost, and he absorbs one of the dragon's skulls and becomes back to life. And then, you know, eventually he absorbs your dragon's soul. So you, and the last time you kill him, you don't have any help the first time the dragon you know flies around breathing ice at him but uh... Yeah, the last time you have to fight him solo he absorbs your dragon soul and then well, well you'll just see what happens pretty simple fight he's he's quite a higher level than me I'm level 
9 or 10 at this point, and I don't know, Mirax strong. Having the dragon around really helped out. Yeah, see, your dragon comes over and breathes ice at him. And he's all distracted by your dragon. See that glowing around him? That's uh, the reward wall we just used. That's one of the, the shot. There's three parts to it, of course. The first part like makes your arms glow. And, you know, the full thing is obviously what he's using. It looks pretty cool. See, the dragon killed him the first time, it sent him to the middle. He sends one of his dragons down, absorbs their souls, and comes. And you can loot all these dragons too. They'll have, you know, dragon bones and scales and about 100 gold each. There your dragon goes, still kicking ass. Really makes the fight look. See, he's like a specter. He's, you know, been killed again. He sends down another dragon, absorbs its soul. My dragon still killing him. And he comes back to life, or he's no longer a ghost. And here he is for the third. Oh, no, he's still alive. One second. That cyclone shot you can also learn. Pretty cool. They got a couple cool shots in the, the DLC. There it goes. It looks like the dragon. Killed him one more time. He. Your dragon lands. This happens every time. He kills it, absorbs its soul, and now it's just you and Mirak. One on one. The way I'm fighting him, what I'd only recommend if you were very, very low level, like I was. I just kinda. Hid behind books or pillars and just kept shooting them with arrows. He has a lot of health. Yeah, so I'm gonna, after this, I'm gonna put a video up. Mirax gear and weaponry. He's got a few neat items you obtain. And you get a, a dragon soul for killing him. Which is quite nice, considering he stole one from us earlier. I guess you're in servitude to Mora now. He doesn't seem to request anything from you after you killed Mirak, so... I guess that's alright with me.
And I continue to just snipe him with arrows. He uses quite a wide variety of attacks. He has got like an ice shell, boards. If you're a little awful like I was, I'd suggest uh, my bow has decreased stamina so he doesn't quite move as much. He can be pretty good at dodging arrows. Seem to get him up against the wall there and he just stayed there too and we're a pretty easy target. He is also susceptible, at least on relenting force. Those lurkers seem to completely ignore it. That fire breath shout, ice breath shout, then he shoots fireball magic at us. There we go. Well, that's it for the main quest line and the end of our walkthrough. We've defeated Mirak.